Hello everyone, it's Carol from Lily Rose Blue and I have another thrifting video for you today. We're going to start with just some fun things. Um, I went to a, it was called Good Makers Mart um, and yes, I purchased these, uh, but I loved them. Um, she, I also bought a purse that she, uh, the crafter had made out of a, a flower sack and oil cloth. So had to show you those. Way fun. Um, I got this package of trim. I am not sure where this came from, but you know, it's not a lot, but it's certainly pretty and I will add that to my collection. I am particularly intrigued and this is taped down by, by this trim here. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm afraid I'm gonna sneeze, I apologize. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I do still have a cold. I've been fighting for almost a week now. I got this at a th one of the many thrift shops I've been at. I just thought it was cute, um, different kind of a page that could be added to a junk journal and I might dye a few, I may sell a few, but still cute. Um, also, I don't have my uh, everything grouped like I should have. Um, this was a gift from the lady that I bought the purse and the bingo cards from. Again, her, her point is to just reuse whatever she can reuse. And um, so those were free as since I purchased from her. I, we always appreciate free. I found this um, fabric and I'm not gonna bother to take it out. But, uh, you know, pretty significant amount of fabric that um, kind of a neutral color uh, has uh, kind of a French uh, Baroque thing to it. So I got that. Um, continuing on with my I Need Binder Cookbooks or Binder Books, I found this at, I believe this was at Goodwill. And just like I mentioned in some of my previous videos, I plan to um, make some cookbooks out of those binder cookbooks, but also maybe just use the binder part and make other junk journals as well. I also, while I was thrifting uh, this past Saturday, um, I went into Half Price Books just to see what I could find. There were two particular themes that I'm looking for. Um, so Angela, if you're listening or if anybody else has any ideas for me, I am looking for uh, a book specifically on owls, not birds that includes owls, but owls uh, to make a junk journal for a gift for my great niece. Um, and also, and forgive me if this upsets anybody, but um, a book about bourbon and whiskey that has pictures and that isn't just Kentucky bourbon or U.S. bourbon, but uh, whiskeys, scotches, bourbons from around the world. I think technically bourbon can only be from Kentucky. But um, my two son-in-laws and husband have an interest in that and I'd like to make them uh, a book, like a tasting book, that, that they could record what they've, what they've tried. Um, so I got, went to Half Price Books and found this French and English and English and French dictionary on sale for $2. We love dictionaries, we love French words. Here, here we go. I also, at Half Price Books, found the same kind of thing, a Spanish dictionary. So, um, again, we love dictionaries. I will use this. I will probably um, take some pages out of both of these dictionaries. And, again, I sound like a broken record, but when I get my Etsy shop up and going, I will sell some pages of that on, on my Etsy shop, which will also be called Lily Rose Blue. 
Now this book is special to me because this was given to me by one of my best, best friends, Isla. She is my scrapbooking and crafting buddy. We go to her house once a week, this group of us, not once a week, sorry, once a month. We wished it was once a week, she may not. But um, she has a list of some things that I'm always on the lookout for, for thrifting, and she is the thrifter extraordinaire. She can find things that nobody else can find and for cheap, and it's fantastic. And she found this butterfly book for me and thought I could use it. Um, she was intrigued by the shape of it, as am I. So um, that is my plan. I will make a butterfly journal out of this. And um, we'll, we'll just see what we can find out. So thank you, Isla, for that. It's great to have friends who watch out for you. I, um, again, I have been thrifting so much this last six weeks or so. I really can't tell you where I found different things. I've been to three or four thrift shops, Goodwills. Um, stay tuned for my Goodwill bin or outlet bin thrifting extravaganza with my friend Isla and her sister Lori, who's also my friend. And then I've been to antique stores. So who knows where I've picked some of this stuff up. But this is a book about glassware of the Depression era. Um, I love glass. I've always loved glass. My mother always loved glass and dishes. And so I inherited my love uh, of this from her. And so I will do um, probably some, a few glassware junk journal uh, journals, but probably would also use some of this just as pages and other junk journals as appropriate. I found this book. Previous videos, you would have heard me say that um, all three of my grandkids love horses and I plan to do horse journals for them. And I found this book. Look at the gorgeousness in, on the inside cover. Um, just what an amazing book. So it's Album of Horses by Marguerite Henry, illustrated by Wesley Dennis, and they're like watercolor illustrations. Rand McNally with the copyright of 1951. Just look at those. Just that in and of itself is so cute. And that, so this book is just so special. And honestly, if I could find another one of these books, I absolutely would. Just the art, look at the art on all sides of these pages. And then these watercolor photos. Oh, I just cannot say enough about this book. I love it, love it, love it. Um, you get the idea here. Um, there's the Palomino, the Quarter Horse, the Appaloosa, We missed some of the watercolor, I think. Look at that, the Mustang. I love this book. That will be part of my horse journal extravaganza. Um, collectible advertising. I think we all um, find this interesting from time to time. I did get this um, at an antique store. One of the vendors was uh, no longer going to be doing it and so was selling all of their reference books. This is copyright 1999. So it has some illustrations of advertising, Bull Durham. Um, there's a lot of Coca-Cola. If I could, um, I don't think we're there yet. Here's some Coca-Cola, there's a lot of that. Um, look at that vintage card. That reminds me of some of those vintage cards we looked at at my last video. And anyway, you get the idea. Uh, so this is about advertising. Um, I found also at that same antique, Salt and Pepper Shakers, Identification and Values by Helene 
Gornasia, I'm probably not spelling that right. I did not pay $10 for this book, I, I promise. Copyright is 1991. So again, just a lot of fun images that, you know, in and of themselves could be standalone images. But look at the pencil and the end of the, of the pen. These are salt and pepper shakers. My good friend Juanita has some salt and pepper shakers um, that she's interested in evaluating. I doubt, you know, we wouldn't use this because it's too old now, but it gives us some idea though of what's out there. So that's salt and pepper shakers. And then cups and saucers, another one of my weaknesses. Wouldn't this be a gorgeous cover, you know, if you cut out this cup and saucer? This is by Jim and Susan Heron, if I, again, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Copyright 1994. Um, some tea advertising, information about tea, advertisements about tea, and then you get into these cups and saucers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Love, love, love. So you get the idea of what that's about. I have not read that one yet. Um, also, kind of along the same lines, Glass Candlesticks Collection of the Depression Era, Volume 2. Jean and Kathy Florence. Uh, also did not pay that for this book, I promise. Copyright 2006. I um, have thoroughly enjoyed just looking at the pictures. Um, let's get out of the amber. Here's some blue. Uh, crystal. Crystal's a large section, not, not surprising at all. And some pink. Look at these. Again, tags, vintage journals, Victorian era journals, um, tea, you know, this could go with my cup and saucer and tea. Um, Warman's Children's Books by S Steve Santi, Identification and Price Guide. So this is about all those children's books that we absolutely adore, guys. Um, copyright 2007, Krauss Publications. And so it just has the first 12 little golden books. And it talks about that, the pokey little puppy, oh, the three little kittens, the animals of Farmer Jones. And it just goes on and on. Again, great tags, great um, pages to add to children's books. Um, Pam, Pam Van E is making, oh, 14, 15, 16 um, children book uh, journals that are just fabulous. So this makes me think of that. So you just get, you get the idea here. Um, I have not had a chance to read this one yet. I found this book. Album of Birds by Tom McGowan, illustrated by Rod Roof. Always about the birds. Again, beautiful inside cover. Um, Rand McNally by, I said that, Tom McGowan and illustrated by Rod Roof. This came from the Grantwood Area Education Agency in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So that is interesting in and of itself too. Um, Ostrich, woodpeckers, um, falon, falcons, peregrine falcon and blue jay. Um, another lovely book. My kids, both my kids had an opportunity to go to wildlife camp in the summers and I think that's their all time favorite camp and now the grandkids have gotten to go to. Um, so that's fabulous. This is from another thrift store that I just love. It is so clean. It's so organized. They're so nice. 
and their book selection is amazing. So this is the Rand McNally Goods World Atlas 17th edition. Uh, Edward Eppenshade Jr. was the editor and Joel Morrison, the senior consultant. And I got this for the pictures. Um, we'll find the copyright. And I paid, I did pay $2 for this book and it's huge. Uh, 1987 is the copyright. So it has all kinds of pages like this that we like to put in our junk journals. Um, and the colors are vibrant and I, minerals, population, annual rainfall, vegetation, water resources. Um, there's the United States. I just loved it. So I got it. You know, you can't beat $2, guys. Not for something like that. And quickly, I'll show you this. Um, I think I got these at an antique store. Um, women's household, if not, this one might have been when I was thrifting with Angela. Um, women's household where goods and friendly neighbors meet. Look at the advertisements. Wonderful. 1971. Paper doll hobby. Got some pictures of paper dolls. Uh, lovely patina on the pages. Some actual patterns in here. Um, just a, a great, a great little magazine. And then um, my mother collected these kitchen clatter magazines. She had stacks and stacks and stacks that she borrowed some shelves on the inside of the closet in my bedroom. Uh, I remember that. Um, and um, this was a publication out of Shenandoah, Iowa. This one's February 77, July 59, 57, 48. So I have a kind of a variety of um, new to old but this kind of gives you an idea. Um, she used them for um, recipes. She used them for, like, she was involved in many different women's groups. Today we would call them icebreaker activities. That's not what they called them then. But she would get ideas of icebreakers from these books. Um, read these faithfully. Um, every time they'd come, and this isn't my mom's writing, but it wouldn't be surprised, it would not have been surprised if she would have written um, this in her books as well. Um, just all kinds of fun. So you get the idea of what, what these are about. Um, I think, let's see, how much time do I have? Oh, I will do these last four things because they came from the same place where I got that Atlas book. So, 20th Century Bookkeeping and Accounting, uh, 22nd edition. This came from the Iowa City Public Schools back in the day. Um, Southwestern Publishing Company, copyright 1962. So I enjoy old textbooks as well for uh, junk journaling to use as pages. This is, to me, is visually interesting. Uh, things like this. So um, I got the book. I think this was one or two dollars. Again, the books in this place are wonderful and they're cheap. So there's that. And then at that same place I found, there were more, but three Reader's Digest books. Um, loved the cover, thought I could, you know, make some kind of junk journal out of that. So this says two, that says one. Look at the patina on this one. Um, this is just plain green, but that's okay. 
I loved the green color. It is in fantastic shape. So there's that one. And same thing, um, plain blue with the, with the horse here, Pegasus maybe, um, from 2007, but also in wonderful shape. So I will use those to junk, junk journal it as well. Thank you for listening to my video today. I wish you uh, happy journaling. Um, I'll put some links to Thrifty Thursday and other people's channels that especially inspire me. Um, hit like, hit subscribe. And um, my good friend Angela said, let's get you to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I think that is a fabulous goal, Angela. Thank you for being my mentor. And um, I will link uh, Meet the Shreds and or Tube Restore You. She has a beautiful Etsy shop. She does great vin vintage finds and um, digital papers. So um, thanks again, Angela. Always my inspiration. Pam Van E. Oh, the children's books, junk journals you're doing right now are fabulous. Thank you all for watching. And we will see you very, very soon. Happy thrifting. Happy journaling.